हेलो किड्स स्टूडेंट्स नाउ वी विल कंटिन्यूड विद द सेकेंड पार्ट ऑफ द चैप्टर टेन ऑफ योर बुक अ पैक विद द सन अ स्ट्रेंज रेस्लिंग मैच नाउ द नेक्स्ट पार्ट ऑफ दिस चैप्टर विजय सिंह पिक्ड अप अ पीस ऑफ रॉक फ्रॉम द सेंट टेक दिस ही ऑफर्ड इट टू द गोस्ट and squeeze it hard it is filled with fluid see if i am wrong why the ghost tried to squeeze the rock first with one hand then with both vijay singh stealthily took out the egg from his pocket it means that vijay singh to um to prove that to prove himself he picked up a piece of rock from the sand and he offered to the ghost and said squeeze it hard it is filled with fluid see if i am wrong while the ghost tried to squeeze the rock first with one hand and then with the both and vijay singh stealthily stealthily took out the egg from his pocket to prove himself he said to the ghost that take this rock and squeeze it hard it is filled with fluid if i am wrong then and the ghost tried to squeeze the rock first that with one hand then with the both and to pretend that he was very strong and uh, what he said it was correct he stealthily took out the egg from his pocket next paragraph vijay singh snatched the rock from the ghost and placed it between both hands and squeezed at once the yellow yolk oozed from around his fingers while the crackling of the egg shell created the illusion of the stone being crushed the ghost was so astonished he did not notice vijay singh bending to clean his hands with sand and disposing of the tell tale shell vijay singh then picked up another piece of rock and gave it to the ghost without a word the ghost took it felt it and peered at it Vijay Singh put his hand into his pocket to take out the lump of salt. Now the next paragraph Vijay Singh snatched the rock from the ghost. Snatched means chin liya, khinch liya. Snatched the ro- rock from the ghost and placed it between both hands and then squeezed it. Firstly the yellow colored yolk when you see the egg the yellow part there are two parts one is the yellow part and second is the white part of the egg and uh, when you crack it when you squeeze it the yellow part comes from that and oozed from oozed means slowly trickle or seeps out of something oozed from around his fingers and the crackling and there is one sound coming from that egg shell uh, just like a crackling sound created the illusion of the stone being crushed because he pretended that uh, he had a stone and he is going to squeeze it and from the uh, from that rock uh, there is one sound also came and a uh, fluid also comes from the shell so there is a crackling sound come from that ro- egg shell and uh he pretended that he would have the rock in his hand and there is a fluid and the crackling sound of uh, the rock by uh, crushing it comes from the ghost was so astonished he was very much surprised that he did not notice vijay singh bending to clean his hand with sand and disposing of the telltale shell okay he did not notice Vijay Singh bending to clean his hands with sand and disposing of the tell tale shell Vijay Singh then picked up another piece of rock and gave it to the ghost now it was the exact piece of rock without a word the ghost took it the ghost the ghost ha- had it in his hand felt it and peered at it Vijay Singh put his hand into his pocket to take out the lump of salt now vijay singh was very clever and uh, um and uh, praiseworthy and he put his hand into his pocket to take out the lump of salt okay next paragraph this is only a stone protested the ghost and anyway it is too dark to see okay 
never heard of a ghost who cannot see in the dark remarked vijay singh that stone which you hold in your hand contains salt crumble it and see again the ghost tried to tried to crush the stone but in vain he handed over the stone to vijay singh the ghost was now beginning to double doubt his ghostly powers now what happened this is only a stone protested the ghost and any way it is too dark to see never heard of a ghost who cannot see in the dark remarked vijay singh uh, vijay singh said that the stone which you hold in your hand contains salt when you crumble it when you crumble mean break or fall apart into apart into small fragments when you crumble it and then you will see that again the ghost tried to crush the stone and um, as the vijay singh said the ghost tried to crush the stone but in vain in vain means useless it is useless he handed over the stone to vijay singh and uh, but uh, uh, the vijay singh crushed the stone and uh, there is a there is some salt the ghost was now beginning the ghost was very much confused and he was now beginning to doubt his ghostly powers that i have a power or not i can see that you are not going to be a worthy opponent what is the use of wrestling with a weakling whom i can floor into a minute so saying vijay singh casually crumbled the lump of salt and let the stone drop into the in the darkness he held out his hand and commanded the ghost to taste the powdered stone okay now vijay singh said that i can see that you are not going to be a worthy opponent worthy opponent means the the person the ghost uh, to whom i have to fight to whom i have to uh, prove it's not a worthy opponent what is the use of wrestling wrestling ka kya matlab hai if the person who is in front of me and who is going to fight me is a weak person whom i can floor in a minute so saying vijay singh casually crumbled the lump of salt and the let and let the stone drop in the darkness so saying after saying this vijay singh casually crumbled he break or fall into small fragment fragments he crumbled the lump of salt usne crumble kar diya and let the stone drop in the darkness he held out his hand and commanded the ghost to taste the powdered stone and after that what happened he held out his hand and commanded the ghost to taste that powdered stone mesmerized with the pehlwan's extraordinary strength the ghost did as he was told alarm shot through him this man could easily vanquish him in a wrestling about in the dark but perhaps he could be tricked in other ways assuming a servile manner the ghost said friend vijay singh it is an honor to meet a man like you because the ghost is now mesmerized with the pehlwan's extraordinary strength he never saw such a person who has got a uh, extraordinary power extraordinary strength extraordinary uh, strength shakti itni shakti wala person usne shakti wala jo uh, person tha usne pehle kabhi nahi dekha tha now he was mesmerized he was very much impressed with pehlwan's extraordinary strength the ghost and the ghost did what he was told what vijay singh was told the ghost exactly did like this alarm shot through him this man could easily vanquish him in a wrestling bout in the dark but perhaps he could be tricked in other ways and vijay singh friend vijay singh the ghost said friend vijay singh it is my honor to meet a man like you i admit to being defeated aur main ye manta hu i accept to being defeated but where will you go tonight rest in my house you can leave tomorrow please don't go tonight please rest in my house you can leave tomorrow now thoroughly elated 
विजय सिंह रिप्लाइड आई कैन नॉट रिफ्यूज योर हॉस्पिटेलिटी वट टुमोरो यू विल गो विद मी एज माई प्रिजनर आई मस्ट डिस्प्ले द ट्रॉफी ऑफ माई विक्ट्री टू माई पीपल द गोस्ट बोर्ड इन एग्रीमेंट बट साइलेंटली वोट टू किल विजय सिंह इन द नाइट ही लेड हिम टू हिज हाउस इन द केव वॉट डज इट मीन नाउ विजय सिंह Uh, when the ghost said that please rest in my house you can leave tomorrow now vijay singh replied i cannot refuse your hospitality your gratitude your request but tomorrow you will have to go with me as my prisoner because i want to display the trophy of my victory to my people that i have won i have uh, uh, fight So I have fought with the ghost and I have won also. The ghost bowed in agreement, but silently. But in chup chap, he was thinking that he has to kill Vijay Singh in the night, and he led to his house in the cave. Next paragraph. The ghost fed him dry fruits and a lot of milk, and later led him to a luxurious bed to sleep on, complete with pillows and bolsters. Now the ghost fed him. उसने उसे बहुत सारे dry fruits. He provided him a proper diet with lots of dry fruits and a lot of milk. And later he also provided a luxurious bed to sleep on, which is complete with pillows and bolsters. But Vijay Singh lay awake listening to the snores of the ghost. In the middle of the night, he slipped off his bed. He placed a bolster in the center of the bed, throwing over it a coverlet to make it look exactly like a sleeping man. Having done this, he crouched watchfully in a dark corner. What does it mean? But Vijay Singh, what happened to the Vijay Singh? He lay awake. listening because of the snores snores means jo kharate hote hain snores of the ghost he was awake and in the middle of the night he slipped from his bed and he also placed a bolster jo round shape pillows hote hain bolster means the round shape pillows he, he also placed a bolster in the center of the bed by pretending him that there is a person who is sleeping on the bed having done this he crouched watchfully crouched means adopt a position where the knees are bent and the upper body is brought forward and down he crouched watchfully in a dark corner sure enough just before the break of dawn the ghost approached the bed armed with a stout club he brought the club down on what he thought was vijay singh's head not hearing even a groan he smiled pleased that he had killed his enemy okay sure enough just before the break of dawn dawn means uh, the beginning of the day at the beginning of the day the ghost approached the bed armed with a stout club stout means um, um or something fatty the ghost approached the bed and alarmed armed with a stout club he brought the club down on what he thought that vijay singh thought was vijay singh's head it was vijay singh's head not hearing even a groan make a deep groan means make a deep in articulate sound conveying pain not hearing even a groan he smiled pleased that he had killed his enemy because he had not heard even a groan and he smiled now he pleased that he had killed his enemy who is the enemy vijay singh however just to make doubly sure he struck the bolster six time more satisfied with his work he returned to his couch and covering his head settled down to sleep again meanwhile vijay singh crept silently back into bed after a pause he groaned as if in disgust threw back his coverlet and sat up okay however just to make doubly sure to make doubly sure to make doubly sure um he struck the bolster six times more he struck it six times more and satisfied with his own work he returned to his couch and covering his head settled down to sleep again but vijay singh crept silently after some time vijay singh crept silently back into his bed after a pause he groaned and 
if in discuss threw back his coverlet and sat up disturbed by the noise the ghost peeped from under his bed clothes to see the strong man stretching his arms above his head and yawning now what is the strange thing happened after uh, um, after the ghost has done a lot of efforts to kill vijay singh but after when he saw he was disturbed by the noise the ghost peeped from under his bed clothes and see the strong man that he is stretching he has stretching his arms above his head in yawning means ubasi le raha tha for a moment the ghost turned rigid with shock the he become rigid with shock he was very much shocked to see all this friend ghost and vijay singh was very clever he pretended that there are insects in your cave said vijay singh in a complaining voice and he spoke like this that he was complaining that there are so many insects in your cave here i was enjoying the sweetest sleep i have had in years and there comes this insect to trouble me i have the sweetest sleep but there is a insect to trouble me i distinctly counted seven flappings of its wings and i have counted also the seven flappings of its wings and it disturbed a lot of course it has not bitten me but it's more annoying the ghost panicked obviously the after hearing these words the ghost become panicked those seven blows would have reduced any other man to pulp if there is some other person in place of vijay singh and the seven blows which i have made on the uh, person and uh, it will reduce to any other man to pulp and there is no safety near a formidable wrestler like this okay he thought and fled from the cave leaving behind all his ill gotten wealth he thought and fled from the cave leaving behind all his ill gotten wealth it took several camels from the village to remove the property vijay singh had acquired he returned much of it to the rightful owners okay he went especially to the old woman also which he by to thank him for her invaluable gift and asked her for her granddaughter's hand in marriage okay he asked for grand daughter's hand usne uski grand daughter ka hath manga for marriage thenceforth vijay singh was more careful about boasting because he had to paid a lot for his habit of boasting now she he become more careful about boasting and he decided that he will never boast boast any more it is said that no traveler was ever ever troubled again in the haunted desert now it is said now that no traveler was ever troubled again in the haunted desert so a very interesting story and the and what you have learned from this story and if you have some talent and if you have some ability and capability then don't show uh, don't take him it uh, in the habit of boasting itna boast nahi karna you should not proud over on uh, over on your capabilities you should not always show off that i am this i am that so be careful about your boasting habit that you should not boast any more okay students thank you